Well, hello everybody. Today I thought I would do a little short video here on these two pieces of gear that I have. Uh, this one here is the HP uh, 5004A signature analyzer. And over here we have the HP 5015T logic troubleshooting kit. This contains a uh, logic pulser, a logic probe, and a 16 pin uh, dual line package logic clip. Uh, this instrument here uh, is used on some uh, some instruments when you are servicing them or troubleshooting them. Uh, this allows you to get uh, deep into logic issues on uh, certain components, or not certain components, but certain boards, and allows you to troubleshoot things even all the way down to the component level. It uh, simply returns a uh, alphanumeric code and and uh, you uh, step through your your troubleshooting guides and your uh, progress sheets and uh, flow charts, and it tells you where to hook up the the probe. It's also connected here uh, to the various test points, and uh, once you read back the code, you'll know uh, where to go from there. Anyway, I'll uh, let me plug this thing in here, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's turned on. Well, so here we are. Everything's hooked up. I, uh, the uh, one cool thing here is that you got this nice pouch here that holds all your accessories. And I found this uh, eBay a while back, and I found it with all the accessories. This is uh, very difficult to do. Normally, they come with uh, may maybe the pod is you know since it's attached, but of course you know the pod, you know, the pod connector and the pod. Uh, connecting wires are typically all missing and then of course we have the logic probe which is also attached to the unit and then of course we have the logic probe kit uh, interesting thing about these probes they don't use an LED to indicate logic state they use a small incandescent bulb especially in this one and this one here too I thought uh, that was an LED at first but uh, if you look at it just right through that hole there, I don't know how well it shows up, but you can see there's an incandescent bulb in there too. It's just the uh, the red tip on there kind of gives the illusion that there's an LED in there. But anyhow, I don't really have any way to demonstrate this at the moment, so what we'll do is I'll uh, run it through its self-test procedure, and uh, we'll go from there. So here we are in self-test mode, and uh, what we've done here is that we've uh, connected the uh, the pod to the test points labeled start, stop, and clock. Uh, the uh, logic probe just kind of just stuffed into the probe test hole, and we're showing two different codes here, uh, two different uh, signatures. First one's UP73 and AC2C. And these are the codes that it should be reporting when the uh, when both the uh, start stop clock buttons are pushed in and the clock button is out. The uh, the first one is reporting correctly, and then on the second one, the uh, the uh, the light on or the uh, logic probe should be blinking, which it is. So, other than this, this is about all I can do to really test it. There's, you know, they got different uh, ways you can set the buttons, and uh, and it'll report different codes. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty simple. There's really not a lot to this uh, piece of gear here. Um, there's a lot of uh, service manuals, such as the one for my uh, 5359A, which is uh, sitting right back there. The calls for the use of this, and there's some very uh, complicated and very large flow charts that you use to uh, track down all kinds of logic errors and uh, component failures. And of course, uh, you know, here we got uh, our uh, logic probe, but uh, yeah, when it's in uh, floating state, this, the uh, the uh, the lamp is uh, kind of half lit. But if we go over here, and we can connect it to a high line. It's bright, and if we go to low, it goes out. Same thing with uh, this probe. It does the same thing. So when it's floating, it's dim. And uh, when it's a 
high state it's high and low state it's low but um yeah that's uh these are kind of some instruments i've been looking for for a while yeah sure i could you know get on ebay or not ebay but to amazon you know buy one of these for you know 10 bucks 20 bucks but you know it's not an hp i like uh i like these uh these probes here these are very nice they're about the size of a pe of a good pen and uh are very they feel really nice in your hand so same thing with the pulser you can use this to send uh, single pulses. If it, uh, if you connect this to, if you use this pulser and connect it to uh, a spot that you're testing and it's high and you press the pulse button, it will pulse it low. If it's low, it'll pulse it high. So that's kind of an interesting feature there. I thought uh, it'll sync up to, uh, I believe it's 630 milliamps. So if you got... Uh, a gate that's stuck high or, or stuck low, you might be able to force it to toggle and uh, be able to kind of track down where your fault is. Uh, this one here, it's just uh, just basically a probe. It's uh, got a reset button here that you can reset it with. And it's got this one little hole here that's a ground uh, ground connector with the be used with the one of the cables in here that uh, has an alligator, or not an alligator clip, but one of those little micro grippers. And uh, you can go from there. Anyhow, guys, yeah, boring day here. But, oh, uh, hear me, uh, the Logic Clip. Yeah, this is a 16-pin uh, Logic Clip. I haven't been able to test this yet, but maybe soon I'll uh, have a project or something or uh, get a failure on some of the equipment that I might have to do uh, uh, some <laughs> deep Logic level uh, probing. Anyway, guys, uh, I think this is pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, it comes with these uh, BNCs to alligator clips for power. Uh, it has, uh, for power, you just basically have a, a BNC connector on the end. Um, some instruments, like my uh, 3335A there, internally have a, a BNC bulkhead that supplies 5 volts uh, to be used with these, uh, with these probes. So that was kind of cool. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, the uh, HP five zero zero four A signature analyzer, and uh, this here, the Logic Probe model number is the uh, it's an HP one zero five two five T. So you keep your eyes peeled for those. The pulser is so what's the number on that? It's a one zero five two six T. So, you know, if you don't want to settle for, you know, Amazon stuff, you know, just keep your eyeballs peeled for stuff like this. And, you know, if you're like me as a HP Zealot, it's just, you know, the only thing that uh, I own, most of what I own here is all HP, but I do have, you know, Tektronix scopes and fluke meters and, you know, that was uh, what I was always uh, after, you know, HP for everything else and Tektronics for scopes and fluke for meters. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later on down the road.